Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome here to Garoka. Nice dawn departure this morning. We're heading out to Nankina again to drop off all the stuff for Mibu Airstrip again. So let's go ahead and get started. Airs on, fuel pump on, fuel turned on up here, and low start. Introduce our fuel over 14% NG. Much oil pressure coming to the green. She's coming up over 40% now, so I watch the ICT and it ups out at 570. This is round two, actually like more than that. This is the second time we've had to fly out there as far as getting all this material out there to fix the Nibu airstrip. Basically, it's too soft for landing, so they're putting down all this mesh. I'll talk a little about that when we get going. So. Generator on, prop forward or V2 track on. Also, as you guys can see, I have a backlit one right here now. Um, hopefully I'll have these on the website. You can check out the link down below um, to see if I do. I don't know when these things are gonna actually be finished uh, with production. Have the lights on, turn these down a little bit. These are super bright. Grokato, runway inspection completed. And the car one. All right, well, here we are in Papua New Guinea. We're the little blue dot in Garoka, and we are heading out into these mountains out here, out to Nankina. One of my favorite places to go just because the views out there are just absolutely incredible. All right, let's go ahead and call up the tower and get going. We are now first light, 6.07 a.m., and it's starting to get up nice out there. Tower, good morning, November Tango. Kilo request, taxi Nankina, 1 POB. November Tango, Kilo, uh, Gorok Tower, good morning. 6417 right, backtrack 17 uh, left, last standby for QNH. Morning, Ridden, right, cleared to back taxi 17 left for 17 right, November Tango, Kilo. Uh, QNH 1017. 1017. Yeah, so with these backlit ones here, they just have a switch on the side. I don't have Velcro on this one yet because I've only used it like twice now in the mornings. But it has a switch over here, LEDs in the back, and they're the same color and um, density or brightness as all the ones in the Kodiak and probably all the other ones like any other airplane because they're kind of like a yellowish tone. But really handy tool if you're a single pilot, even if you're not. It's a great tool just so you don't miss things like your gear or make sure you have your flaps all the way down or flaps set for takeoff or anything like that. Make sure everything is where I want it. So we'll just go through the fuel caps and selectors. We checked our selectors earlier and my fuel caps. Control that already did. Switches and instruments. Oh, Tango Hotel is uh, taxi for Nankina. POB 65, so 60 and 70. 70 coming in, 65, take off. The whole position QNH 1017 company, traffic November 10 kilo. Taxi for 17 right this time. Tango Kilo, 17 right, left turn clear to take off. 17 right, clear take off, November Tango Kilo. All right, trimming aboard, ignition inlet and lights done, harnesses. And high idle. Good for takeoff. Checklist is complete. 1390 on the torque. Rotate at six to correction. Rotate at, wrote it down wrong, 60 knots. There we go. Torque is set. Airspeed's alive. There's 50 and there's rotate. This right here is the best part of dawn traffic, departures. Eight o'clock, same altitude, zero the miles. Hotel has departing traffic in sight. Bingo Hotel, Hobart Taxi 17 left. Hobart uh, Taxi 17 left and ready for takeoff. Uh, 17 left, Hobart Taxi Hotel. Number Bingo Hotel. Uh, looks like the sunrise is going to be awesome today. Lots of pinks out there, so let's get up to the altitude as quickly as we can so we can enjoy this. Oh, 
Tango Tel has visual on November Tango Kilo and can uh, maintain visual separation. Copter gate. Number Tango Hotel Copy, just with uh, preceding company traffic, and uh, Copter Gate is clear to take off. Copter Gate is clear to take off. Number Tango Hotel. Right over 90, we'll go zero degrees. And start making our turn towards Nankina. So this is just a 27 minute flight out there. But like I was saying, this is probably one of my favorite places to go. It's a 10% slope. It's an incredible view looking down out over the mountains all the way down to the coast. It'll be up at like, I think like 5,500 feet or so. And then the coast, the ocean is just about 13 miles away. We're prop to 2,000 for a climb. Tower November Tango, Kilo, departed time 1-2, tracking 071 on climb 1-1000. Estimating Nankina 4-0, copy company. Speed 1-1000, must be in the pen 8861-5565. 8861-5565 in the pen November Tango, Kilo. Let's see if we can't climb through some of these little cracks in the clouds here just so we can get above it, climb on up to 11,000, because these mountains right here are right around like 8,500. It looks like this crack right up here, I think I might be able just to take a south turn and then climb on up. So we'll pitch on up for our best rate of climb for the time being. As close as we can to the tops so or the bottoms of them. And then what I can do, because there's not a lot of room here, we can keep going on up, but what I can do is drop in 20 degrees of flaps. It's for 73, that's my best angle of climb, and we can punch up really quick, but I think even with this climb, we should be able to get above it. You guys can enjoy this sunrise right here. All right, yep, let's go ahead and pitch on up. Ah. That's an incredible view. Give this video a thumbs up if you think that's incredible. I sure do. That's worth getting up at 4.30 in the morning to see sometimes. I'm just shooting a TikTok right now if you guys want to see more like day-to-day -day basis, little stories and stuff like that. I put out videos on TikTok as well as Instagram. My tag name is just Missionary Bush Pilot, so it's easy to find. Mars B861, November Tango, Kilo transfer. Mars B123, decimal minor, November Tango, Kilo transfer. November Tango, Kilo, Mosby, good morning, go ahead. Good morning, November Tango, Kilo, no contact, 8861-5565, through the Bennett Gap, maintaining 11000, estimating Nankina 38, copy company, November Mega Hotel. November 10 kilo, we reckon 81009, secondary frequency 6622. 1009 or 6622, November Tango Kilo. Brian is just looking out here, we've got clouds all along the finister, top of the ranges out here. November 10 kilo, must be confirmed, you'll be remaining OCTA. A affirmative will remain OCTA, November Tango Kilo. Well, he wants to know is if I'm going to be staying out of NADZAB's airspace, which is just over that way. Well, I'll be well clear out of that. But we can head out here towards the Nahu Gap. And I don't know if you can really see it on the cameras, but there's kind of like this you know, blood red looking like sunset just peeking through the clouds over here. So that's where we're going to head is right over to that gap. Once we get through there at 11,000, then we'll just start our descent right down into Nankina. Nankina is on the other side of these mountains here. I'll go ahead and bring up the strip chart for you guys. The elevation is 5,600 feet, basically the top of it, but the bottom of it's 5,380. So it's a couple hundred feet difference between uh, the bottom and the top. So yeah, it's a pretty decent size a sloped hill, 10%. Touchdown area though, it's, uh, it says touchdown zone is 10% slope, but there is one section right by the windsock that's probably a little bit less than that. I'd probably say like 7% or something. But anyways, 540 meters long. And uh, yeah, we can take in five, five knots of tailwind if we have a full load, but today we do not have a full load. So today I'm at 6,400 pounds. 
So we're basically 800 pounds under our max. So for every 200 pounds or around 100 kgs, I can add an extra tail, a tail knot, a tail, tailwind. Yeah, I can add one knot per tailwind. So basically I can add four more on top of that. So with the loading that I have, I could go in there at nine knots of tailwind, but really when it starts getting over like eight knots. November 10 kilo motion. Go ahead, November 10 kilo. November 10 kilo, confirm. Your voice, November 10 vehicle. Negative, uh, I must have filed wrong. This is November 10 kilo. November 10 kilo echo will be departing Garoka here in another 40 minutes, though, for the same location. Yeah, what I was saying is basically, I can take up to nine knots on paper, but really when it starts getting over eight knots, it starts getting a little bit more uncomfortable. The reason being is because as you're, as you're coming into a sloped airstrip, you have to actually match the airstrip slope before you can start reducing power and start flaring. And with a 10% slope, it's good to actually add a couple of knots to whatever your VREF is. So today, if our weight's at 6,400, my VREF is going to be 70 knots. So I would want to add probably two knots to that. And the reason being is because if you're coming in at VREF, which is pretty much already the slowest controllable airspeed that we're going to come in comfortably in the Kodiak. And then you start matching the slope. Basically, you're getting yourself into a stall already, and there's a good chance that you're going to get, you're going to stall a little bit earlier than you want to. Obviously, you're going to stall when you touch down, but you start rounding out and then start flaring. Now you're going into a really high angle of attack, already at slow speed. So you add those two knots so that by the time you are rolled out level with the airstrip, then now you're at 70 knots. Now you can go ahead and do your flare. Horsby, North Tinko Hotel, 123.9. My plan for this morning is drop off all of this uh, plastic matting. And I think I was going to tell you what it was actually. But basically, it's this mesh that they roll out over the ground. And they November Tinko Kilo, North Tinko Hotel, 123.9. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, could you uh, relay my position to Morrisby? I'm not picking up an HF, but I'm too low for VHF. Uh, we're through the Bena, 900,000. Estimate uh, uh, Nankina at 5-3. Uh, Morrisby, 123-9, November Tango Kilo for November Tango Hotel. November Tango Kilo, Morrisby, go ahead for November Tango Hotel. November Tango Hotel through the Benning Gap, 900,000, estimating Nankina, time 5 3. Affirmative 900,000 through the Benning Gap, estimating Nankina, 5 3. We'll advise 5565 five, five, November Tango Kilo, and I think he's already tried those with no joy. November Tango Kilo. November Tango Hotel, you catch that 5565? Five, five, five? I can't hear him at all, but I tried him. 5565 I figured. All right, well, it looks like I'm going to have to drop on down now. But I can get on top of this, just this tiny little cloud. I don't want to have to climb up to 12,000 just to get over top of it and then immediately drop down. So I'm just going to drop on down now scrape over the top of the mountains, and then start my descent on down to Nankina. With comfortable margin, I'm gonna head over to this gap over here, just because we've got 11 knots coming over, just so there's gonna be a lot more turbulence on this side. Once we get to the very top, there'll probably be a little bit of turbulence, but there's not a lot of room in between the clouds and the top of the ridge, where there's a nice amount over here. And I've found flying here now for, I don't know how many years, five, six, five or six years. Always take the easiest route, always. It's safer, it's less stressful. You're not gonna get yourself in a position where you've got yourself in too tight of an area. Now you're dealing with weather or rain and now you're close to proximity to terrain and stuff. It's always best just take the easiest route and it's a lot safer.
Wow, there's a really awesome low layer. Now I've got 11 knots off my right wing. A low layer of clouds right over top of the ocean with the sun just hitting it. That's incredible. Now it's going to go ahead and slow on down. Wow, that's incredible. There's so many things that are incredible here in Papua New Guinea, and I still get excited about them all the time. All right, now I've got 13, 19 knots, 20 knots coming over top of these right here. Make sure I'm giving myself plenty of clearance over top of this mountain. 500. There we go. Now we can start our descent down into Nankina. Who's like this is proof that there's a God. You might not agree with me, but that is absolutely incredible. All this big old prisms coming through my screen right here. So you can't always trust the terrain here in Papua New Guinea. I don't think I've ever been to a place where it was the opposite, where it didn't show you a mountain, but there are places in this area that have little pinnacles that come up saying that the train is higher than it actually is. People have asked, hey, do you guys fly with like the synthetic vision on these things, you know, when there's bad weather and stuff? No, I've, I don't think I've ever even looked at that. If anything, I would look at this little map down here in the corner. It shows me red, you're dead, and yellow, you're within like 100 to 1,000 feet above the terrain. That's what I'm gonna go on, and I can also put it on this big map screen right here really fast, just throw it on there. I don't like it on that one unless I'm all the time, unless I'm actually using it, just because it clutters it up. Our OBS turned to runway 130. All stations in Kina, Kodiak, November Tango, Kilo, 13 miles to the west, 9,200. Circuit time, Nan Kina, time four zero. All right, we want 5380 for our touchdown zone. So I'm gonna set up my minimums on here so that I can turn final, because I always turn low here because the valley just drops out below you. There's no key positions. Like I wanna be at this tree line here at this altitude, it's just over an open valley. So it's, it's very easy to get low at places like this. So I'm gonna turn this to 50, 5880. That's gonna be my turning final 500. Let's go ahead and start up with our checklist while we're a little bit further out. Selectors, our TAWS, our VREF, for 6300, so 69 knots. Our lights, our inlet. If we need to go around on this, let's power up 20 degrees of flaps, pitch for 73, left hand turn out, reset ITT 740 for the climb. Pop and harness. So, Mibu, the airstrip that this is all going to, is going to be right below me, coming pa over top of this hill right here. Let's see if I can't just do a quick flyby by them. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my power, get my prop forward, slow on down as much as I can. I think where is Mibu? I think it's below that hill. Go 10 degrees of flaps. 138 knots. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all the way down there in time without slipping and everything, but we'll see. I'll try to fly over it so you guys can see where all this stuff is actually going to. We're going to have helicopter shuttles coming over here. I've done a vlog showing you guys what that looks like before. 120, let's go 20 degrees of flaps. 500. Sink rate. Pull up. Go full flaps. Pull up. Sink rate. Yes, thank you. Wow. Well, we'll see how close I can get with that sun. In my eyes, that can get really dangerous really fast because you go into a black wall, basically. You can't see anything. All right, there we go. There's me, Blue Strip over here. This is where the helicopter's gonna be doing the shuttle runs over to. All right, now I've got a nice view out there. You can see in the middle of the airstrip they've got a bunch of dirt. 
that's where they're putting all this matting at first. And uh, anyways, that's where it's going. And we're going right over there another five miles away. A 12 hour hike, crazy. All right, let's add up our power. Turn away from the sun so we can actually see 20 degrees of flaps, basically like a go around. Reset ITT 740 for initially. And we're going to climb on up to 6,400 feet again. All stations in Nankina, November Tango, Kilo will be joining the circuit overhead in Nankina. Boys with 6622, November Tango, Kilo in the circuit Nankina, cancel SAR. Boys with 6538, November Tango, Kilo. This is the worst place to get a hold of Morsby. Morsby 659 or 8, November Tango Kilo. Morsby 5565, November Tango Kilo. Morsby 123 decimal 9 or November Tango Kilo in the circuit Nankina cancel SAR. Alright, there's pattern altitude. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's too much of a distraction. Up and harness is done. We have flaps to go. We've got 10 degrees now. We're at pattern altitude. We'll fly overhead. Check the runway. The last two times I've been out here, I've almost hit a dog on landing and on takeoff. Same stupid dog. It's going to get hit one of these days. So I told them, hey, the brown and white dog, you guys better make sure that you guys do something with that dog when I'm coming in. It very be a very expensive smack if so. Them and us. All right, so we're gonna land around the windsock area. There's kind of a little bit of a flat area and then it kind of goes up really steep after that. There's like a line right across, right where the windsock is. I try not to descend too much. Wow, that sun is bright. Go into like a black hole. All right, there's a mile out. We'll turn our downwind, get out of the view of the sun. Start our descent on down. We want to turn our base basically at 6,100 feet, which I'm already at now. See what I mean? You just descend so much faster when there's nothing below you. We want 69, 79, and 89, so I'm going a little fast now. Pull my power out. That'll slow me down. Once we get to the river, that's when I turn my base. 20 degrees of flaps, turning base. Going to 79. The flaps to go. You always look really high too because the terrain drops off so much, like a few thousand feet down to the river. You always feel like you're too high. 20 feet to go. All right, there's full flaps. Checklist is complete. Minimums, minimums. There's my 500. Turning final, slowing to 69, which I'm already at. Three knots of headwind. Committed here in a second. There's add 72 knots, 500 knots, just for the round out. Okay, we are committed. Oh, there's dumb chickens or something running across the runway. Alright, 
Well, this is Nankina. I'm picking up all that coffee. Well, not all that coffee. They've got like three airplanes, loads of coffee. We've got four plane rounds coming out here today. And uh, yeah, I'll be loading up here with a bunch of coffee. Another airplane's gonna be coming in here in probably the next uh, 40 minutes. I've gotta get out of here before he gets here. And the helicopter is coming to pick all this stuff and doing sling loads over to Mibu. If you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It sure does help my channel grow. Feel free to share this video anywhere you like with other aviation enthusiasts and whatnot. So anyways, thank you. See you guys next time. I can hear my beating heart, gotta fall into my own arms